Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight, after having sampled this bottle so many times, it is finally time for me to tell you my real feelings about it. And I won't hold back. They will be my raw emotional feelings. And just beware, they get raw and emotional. Tonight, we are tasting Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number three. And it's one hell of a whiskey. As with all the Discovery Series bourbons from Bardstown Bourbon Company, this is a blend of sourced whiskeys. This particular Series 3 is two separate mash bills from Kentucky and then one from Indiana. This particular bottling, this particular bottling is 23% Kentucky bourbon that's 10 years old, 32% Kentucky bourbon that's 13 years old, and 45% Indiana bourbon that's 13 years old. This is 55% alcohol, bottled at 110 proof. Bottle design gets an A+. I love the bottle design, it's shaped perfectly. It's got the cool designs on the back. It's got a flippy book. It's got a flippy, it's got a little bit of a flippy book on top where you can read about Bardstown Bourbon Company and you can see faces. Oh, there's Danny Calloway smelling a glass of whiskey with a gigantic smile on his face because I don't think he's ever frowned at a moment in his life. If he has ever frowned, then I, I've lost faith in humanity because when I want to be happy, I just think of Danny Calloway and his smiling face. That's a beautiful smiling face. I will not let the fact that Bardstown Bourbon Company crowned me the world's top whiskey taster, I will try not to let that play a, a play a part in my liking or disliking of this bourbon, even though I already know I freaking love it. Before I get started, to be very clear, extremely crystal clear, Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number one was my number three bourbon in the year 2019. That was before Bardstown Bourbon Company even knew who I was and well before they wanted to forget. So let's pop the 72 pound cork out of this bottle, pour ourselves six or seven ounces and really dive deep into why I think this is maybe one of the best bourbons of the year. Maybe you should check out that video talking about my best, most favorite bourbons of the year. Right there. America. 3,600 pound cork right there. Literally, literally could probably, and by probably I mean almost guaranteed, could at least concuss a grizzly bear with my left hand throwing this right at it. It would be like, uh, uh. I'd be like, yeah. I threw it. I was left-handed. Idiot bear. Get out, get away from me. Not in my neighborhood. Bear friggin' corked him. I don't believe in harming animals. Unless, of course, they're trying to harm you. In which case, cork him. Oh, shoot. Okay. That was literally the worst pour of my life. Okay, we are back with a new shirt and no pants. Fun fact about Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series 3, this blend was actually created by the national brand ambassador of Bardstown Bourbon Company, Samantha Montgomery herself. She is a whiskey blending badass. She is a great, friendly person. She is probably Bardstown Bourbon Company's master friender because she is so nice. If you've been here before, you know what we say. A dizzy whiskey is a good whiskey and we are getting it so dizzy. Sun faded penny color. Super accurate. Super accurate. 1981 
Sun Faded, Abraham Lincoln, Copper Penny, Show. This smells like a Reese's Fast Break candy bar. Milk chocolate, a layer of cookie, and then the, 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 the you know, the peanut butter, obviously. A little bit of peanut butter in there. Choc- milk chocolatey, caramelly cookie peanut butter. Cinnamon apple. Lots of graham cracker on there. Lots of graham cracker. Now that I said graham cracker, I'm immediately thinking marshmallow too. It's got a little bit of a s'morey aspect to it. If you made the s'more out of a Reese's Fast Break bar instead of a Hershey's bar, of course, because putting everything together. A little bit of that MGP red licorice is shining through here, a little bit. It's not overpowering, but it's kind of behind the scenes. Pretty charred oak, charred sweet oak. I like that. This, wow, this nose, knows no bounds. Ah, I'm at you. Wow. That is ridiculously good. Oh my gosh. There are two different types of toffee candy bars. There's the score bar and there's the other one. Score is like dark chocolate and like darker toffee. Oh, the Heath bar. That's what it is. Immediate Heath bar. It's like toffee and milk chocolate just rushing back, rushing back. I am upset that I don't have 74 of those. This bottle is a friggin' masterpiece. If I did not tell you about this bottle, I would be doing you a disservice because it's that good. The nose is really good. The viscosity of this is damn near perfect. It coats the mouth really well. It's oily. The palette, the finish, the viscosity are all top notch. Ridiculous. I'm going to go back into this one more time and try to give you more detailed tasting notes. Oh, something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Something about, something about, something about you. A little bit of citrus, like or- orange peel on there too. A little orange peel, sweet oak. Mild, mild char. It's not a, there's not a heavy char on here, but there's like mild barrel char with sweet oak, milk chocolate, toffee, and orange citrusy, like a, a citrusy pith of an orange. The Discovery Series bourbons from Bardstown Bourbon Company are worth the money, if that's the type of money you are willing to spend. So good. So stinking good. My name is Matt, and this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on taking a wet shirt and a pair of wet pants and wringing them out over the sink with a glass in it, hoping to retrieve some delicious bourbon that may or may not have been spilled on them due to a lackluster long pour by a man who was overconfident. <laughs>